Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about how to get a boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. I'm specifically talking about at Walt Disney World. I don't know what it's like in California but maybe it's similar. Um, if anybody knows about that post it down in the comments so you can help other people but as I've said this is only for Walt Disney World. So basically I'm just going to get straight into it and hope you enjoy the video. The first thing you'll need to do to get a boarding group for Rise of the Resistance is to download the My Disney Experience app. Once you get it, you can set up an account if you don't already have one. Do all that kind of stuff. That's the same app that you get your normal fast passes in and everything. So you will need the app when you go anyway. After you've downloaded the app, just make sure that everybody's magic band is linked to the app. That's the only other thing that you need to do in advance. Um, I'm pretty sure you can still do this if you don't have a magic band, you'll just use your ticket to do it. So that should be fine too. So another thing that is important to know is that there is Wi-Fi in the park. So you don't need to worry if you're from another country, you don't need to worry about buying data or anything like that. You can just use the park's Wi-Fi and that works fine. Like we did that when we went a few weeks ago and we got on it pretty much straight away. So don't worry about the Wi-Fi, that is all fine. I would say arrive at the parks half an hour early to make sure you can get through security and to scan your magic band in or your ticket in so that you're inside the park before park opening times. Now people are saying things like can you not just spoof in? Is there any way you don't have to be there? You absolutely must be there as your magic band has to have been scanned into the park. Every single person in your party that wants to ride on Rise of the Resistance must be in the park with a scanned magic band or ticket to be able to get to the next step. I would say you want to make sure you're inside the park at least 10 minutes before the official opening time. They always let you in a little bit early. And just a small piece of advice, if you want to get on Smuggler's Run and you don't have a fast pass, or if you're going before whenever the fast pass is open, which is like mid-February, I think, um, I would say when you get into the park, walk towards the entrance for the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge land. And then once the park opens, you can quickly get your boarding pass and then you can head straight over to Smuggler's Run and you will have a short to queue. So once it gets to around five to like five minutes until the opening time, you're gonna want to open the app and it then comes up with a page that looks like this. I will put it up on the screen so you can see it. And it basically, it comes up straight away as soon as you open the app and it says find out more. Click on find out more and then it will have another screen and it will say join boarding group. So what you want to do is you want to click that. It then brings you to another page and it says join boarding group again that will be a button that you can't click. So what you want to do is you want to wait until it's maybe like one or two minutes to the park opening time and you're gonna to want to keep refreshing, refresh, refresh, and eventually the button will become active. Now what I would say is if you have more than one adult or somebody, more than one person in your group that has a phone with the app on it, and everything's linked to it, I would suggest everybody try it. You will get on if you're there before park opening times, but if you want to increase your chance of getting an earlier boarding group, then I would say to make sure that you go on as many devices as you possibly can. So when we went, we were on two devices. So keep refreshing, keep refreshing. Eventually the join boarding group will be an open link, if that makes sense. You can click on it and it will come up with all the people in your app so you can add all the tickets that you want so anyone who wants to go on it that is in your group press on their name and then click confirm at the bottom once you've clicked confirm it should come up with a different page and it'll tell you your group and i'll show you what our one looks like here we were in group 57. so then you are basically you are in you've got your boarding group now one thing to know is that if you go back on the app and i'll do another page if you click my status you can see what groups are boarding at that current time and as soon as your group becomes active you can then get on the ride um, you have two hours from when it becomes active to get on it before it expires you kind of like a fast pass but you've got twice the amount of time now if the ride does break down during your group and you haven't been able to get on it within your window they will basically extend it so you can go on it at any time during the day so I wouldn't worry so much about not being able to get on it in that sense you will be able to get on it if the ride breaks down at any point in that day it's super easy once you arrive to get into the ride all you have to do is scan everybody in your group's magic band I think or may it might just be one person and they might ask to see your pass on your phone and then they will let you in from there it may be about half an hour queue and then the full ride including all the different things that you see I would say takes about half an hour on top of that so if there are people in your party that don't want to ride and they need to know how much time you might take I would say about an hour it could be more it could be less but that's about an average time that it will take one of the staff members 
members told us that. So it's around an hour from start to finish. And that is pretty much all you need to know about how to get on Rise of the Resistance at Walt Disney World in Hollywood Studios. Um, if there is anything I have missed or any other questions you have, make sure to leave them in the comments. I will be happy to answer them. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content like this and other things to do with Disney and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and I'll see you next time. Bye!